Now, I love these first generation K5s and putting that whole COVID thing aside, I wish we could go back to 2020 where you could pick up one of these for under $50,000. Fast forward to 2021 and you're gonna have to pay between 50 and $100,000 to get one of these rigs now. Another indicator the K5 will remain in high demand is custom shops investing heavily in this marquee. Ring Brothers, which is an award-winning workshop that specializes in custom builds, composite bodywork, and machined aluminum accessories, has built and sold two custom K5s on Bring a Trailer. They were literally both out of this world in build quality and pricing. To me, I take that as further validation. The first generation K5 is not likely coming back down to affordable territory. Before we launch into today's example, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trey, and this is Vintage Foil Auctions. We vet all the active truck and 4x4 category auctions on Bring a Trailer and highlight only the top tier vehicles from this segment. So if you're in the vintage SUV market, you're going to want to keep an eye on these auctions. Our hope is that this simple video format encourages interaction with viewers on vehicle condition and ending price points. Starting today, we have a 1971 Chevrolet K5 Blazer 4x4 4 speed. This K5 was acquired by the seller in 2016 after the truck was refurbished under prior ownership. We'll see photos of the refurbishment in the pictures review section of the video. I think you're going to like this one as much as I do. This one has 23,000 miles shown, but is being sold true mileage unknown. We've mentioned this is pretty normal for a 52-year-old vintage rig and is not especially concerning, especially not with a full refurbishment in 2016. This one has a replacement 5.7 liter V8 with a four speed manual transmission and a dual range transfer case. And in my opinion, this K5 is finished in literally the best color for a first gen K5, the 71 GM truck paint code 516 Tangier orange. Now that we've given you a high level overview, let's get our first glimpse of this absolutely stunning 71 K5. I told you this thing is awesome. Stick with me here because we're gonna do a full deep dive on this beautiful K5, including looking at comments, pictures, and pricing on this K5 on Bring a Trailer. Before we get into the pictures, we always look at the comment section first. As I've said before on previous shows, this is a best practice that can save you time when you're looking through the pictures. And it makes sense. The Bring a Trailer audience has extensive knowledge on these marquee vehicles. They often call out areas of concern that you can zero in on with the review of the pictures. It can save you a lot of time and money when you're buying a vintage four-wheel drive. So starting with the comments, we'll go in reverse order here and see if anything stands out. So the first one we see here says, can you post a driving video? or off-road drive. This is a pretty common request with Bring a Trailer asking for a driving video. It just gives the audience more context with the vehicle. The next one, the seller answers a question. The front seats are pro car, classic low back seats with headrests. This comment here is a great illustration of what I talk about. The Bring a Trailer audience has extensive knowledge on these marquee vehicles. You gotta take a look at this. The 69 and 70 model years only had one orange, 516 orange. I can't find any info for the 71 model through research, but I own an original 71 with paint code Hugger Orange. Mine was built in St. Louis, as was yours. I've yet to see any other Hugger Orange on an SPID. That's actually the tag that's missing on this one. From my research, I found that St. Louis used two paint codes in the records, 516 Tangier Orange and 524 Firebolt Orange. Flint used paint code 524 and called it Red Orange. The 524 paint code matches mine perfectly. Like I said, a lot of knowledge and expertise with the Bring a Trailer community. Then we see here, this is the question seller was responding to. Are those seats out of a Jeep, particularly the rear seat. 
When was the last time you had the top on it? What are the screws on the inside of the top? Nice looking blazer. Then we get a comment and response from the seller on the seat in this K5 blazer. Nice looking blazer. Does the passenger seat flip up for rear access like the factory ones? Seller responds, both the driver and passenger seats flip forward. There are a couple pictures in the gallery, number 94 and number 98 that show the seats flipped up. And then we see here from a seller's and selling perspective, the advantages of having a cold start video in your auction. Just watch the engine start up. Wow, what a smooth running engine. Engine. Sounded as though the choke was on, but there was not a single shake, rattle, or roll to the stillness of that engine. Not one miss or valve tap or stumble. And then this last comment, I can definitely sympathize with this seller. Commenter says, wish I could afford this. I'm sure it'll be out of my price range quickly. <laughs> Good luck with the sale. It's my dream rig. Totally agree. So what I'm taking from the comments, we got a few things to look at here. Specifically, we'll be focused on the paint, seats, and also that cold start video. I've mentioned that best in class when you're looking at an auction on bring a trailer is 100 pictures minimum. This one has 231 high quality professional photos. So seller's doing a really nice job representing this beautiful 71 K5 Blazer. This level of detail gives you confidence that you're getting a full representation of the vehicle. Like I've said before, I think this can add to the overall value and confidence of the auction. So this is the exciting part. This is the part we're all here for. This first picture is strong right out of the gate. I love the combination of this professional photography and also this Tangier orange paint. Love this. This one does have the 80s issued blue California plates. This is a really nice view here of this K5 Blazer head on. You get a really nice look at the grill and this Chevy emblem. Again, seller did a really nice job with these professional photos in the nature backdrop. I don't know about you, but for me, it really just serves to highlight this very unique Tangier orange paint. Another nice one here showing the high ground clearance, the 35 inch departure angle, and also these nice 32 inch BFG KO2s. As we were browsing the comments, I did see one comment that talked about the unique setup of the exhaust on this K5. This is our first view of this in this picture. With this picture, one of the things I love about these vintage SUVs and trucks is just all this chrome. Look at that bumper. Nice close up here. You can see that unique retro K5 badging. This is a good picture here with the natural light. This orange paint contrasted with the blue Chevy emblem and the blue California plate just really pops. Like I said, really like this retro K5 badging. I wish they would have kept this throughout the series. It would have looked really nice on my 1990 K5. And with this next series, it looks like they have replaced all of these with LEDs. I think Chevy needs to make a return to this with their Chevy trucks. The grills on these first gen K5s and then later the square body trucks look really tough. The cool thing with this, the auction list, the seller does still have the factory V8 and will be including it with the auction. And then I think about this sometimes, how big of a miss was it for Chevy not to bring back a K5 like Ford did with the Bronco? I'll answer for you pretty big. So first look inside the cabin of this 71 K5. Everything looks in beautiful condition. The seats are upholstered in best top covers. From this perspective, they do have a nice factory vinyl feel. One of the other real pluses with this K5 Blazer, the four-speed manual transmission. This K5 does have rubberized floors throughout, which is very nice for a utility vehicle. Another nice view from this angle of the best top seat coverings. Nice bird's eye view here, giving you a real sense of what it must feel like to drive this K5. It's pretty sweet. Nice view from the top with the roll bars and the seating surfaces. With this one, apparently some of those commenters did not look at the pictures first before asking questions. Seats fold down just like the seller responded in the comments. And seller actually did address this too, that both seats actually reclined forward. Looking at this picture, I think this is why there were certain questions about whether this was a Jeep backseat. I know Best Top can do replacement tops and seats for Jeep as well. And here we get a nice view of that replacement 5.7 liter V8 made it to a four-speed manual transmission. Another couple views for you of the engine and the engine bay. And then moving on to this picture of the undercarriage, everything looks exceptionally clean with this body off restoration. With this one, you can tell they did a lot of work with this frame and chassis. This thing looks like new. You see what I'm saying? Chevy knew they had a tough look on their hands. Picture 143 starts a series of pictures of receipts and records for the refurbishment. This was not shown on the vehicle, but this does come with a black removable hard top. Personally, I prefer the look here with this bikini top on, but hey, depends where you live. Picture 170 starts a series of documentation of this body body off refurbishment. We're going to go into sort of slideshow mode here. Let you look at all the great work that's been done on this 71 K5.
as you can see here, a lot of work went into ensuring this build is top notch. So based on what I've seen with the pricing on this K5 and pricing for comparable K5 since 2021 on Bring a Trailer, this would be one hell of a K5 to own. There's a lot of value in this one. Someone got a great deal. First with the pros, for me, the biggest pro with the 71 K5 is that it's undergone a full refurbishment. With the refurbishment, the body was removed from the frame and repainted in orange. At the same time, sheet metal repairs were performed and the windshield was replaced. The cab features front bucket seats and a rear bench that were reupholstered in black vinyl best top material, while the exposed metal surfaces are finished in orange. Dynamat sound deadening material was applied under the rubberized flooring. This one comes with both a removable hard top and also a black bikini top so you're covered in all seasons and i already mentioned this but for me one of the biggest pros with this k5 is it's finished in literally the best color 516 tangier orange mechanically this one's fitted with a replacement 5.7 liter v8 made it to a four-speed manual transmission the truck's equipped with power steering as well as worn manually locking front hubs and a lifted suspension this one also has 32 inch bfg ko2s mounted on 15 inch steel wheels to really complete the look Now the cons for this 71 K5 are very minimal since this one underwent a full body off restoration. With the first con, we do know this is being sold true mileage unknown, but we also know this is very common for a vintage four wheel drive of this age. And we also know this had a full cosmetic and mechanical refurbishment, including a new engine. So for me, the TMU status is really of minimal concern at this point. The only other con with this K5 is even more minimal. The auction list, the service parts identification tag is missing from the inside of the glove box lid. The only reason I think this this is mentioned in the auction, there are some purists that are highly critical of maintaining originality. So in their eyes, with that missing, it may dock some points from this vehicle. If I was the buyer though, I'd be feeling pretty great about the purchase of this K5. This is as good as it gets. So we talked about this a little in the beginning of the video, pricing for the K5 really has taken off in the past two years. If you could take your time traveling machine back to 2020, you could pick one of these up for under $50,000. In the current market, you're gonna pay 50 to $100,000 for a high quality stock first gen K5. You'll pay even more for a highly modified K5 like the examples we saw from Ring Brothers. If we narrow down to only 1971 year models, we have 24 comparison vehicles. From a low water mark, we have this beautiful restored orange 71 that sold for 60,500 in August of 2023. For me, this seems pretty low for how nice this is. And then we have this restored rig finished in another one of my favorite colors, ochre paint that sold for 70,000 in April of 2023. So I'd say pricing for this one is in line with other comparable K5s. So what do you think about this nicely restored 1971 Chevy K5 Blazer 4x4? We'd love to hear your feedback on pricing and condition in the comments. Also, as I've said before, we are a new channel. And if you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Trust me, this goes a long way to inspire the creation of future content. Thanks again for watching. See you next time for more vintage four-wheel drives. <music>